Hi people, it's the Average Man here. I uh, just want to show you a new case I've got today, which is the Micro UPS from FM Code. Uh, it's currently on Indiegogo. Um, Marek from FM Code, he sent me this as a, just to do a bit of a review, a bit of a hands-on, have a little look at it. Um, so let me just take you through some of the first things. So obviously the first thing you notice is the colour. This is uh, acid green. Uh, it really bounces off the light really nice. And these come in loads of different colours. Um, Marek suggested acid green. It's his favourite colour, so here it is. So it, it kind of comes in two sections, so if you look from this angle, you've got the pie on the right there um, and there's a bit of a divider and then on the other side you've got the UPS section uh, and the battery and the, the board there. So the whole point of this case, it's uh, an uninterruptible power supply, so pretty much if you're powering from mains here, everything's going fine. If you get a power cut, the, the battery and the board take over, um, so your pie never loses power, so that's going to stop things like corruption, uh, turn off your server, that kind of thing, whatever you might think you might use that for, um, and that all happens automatically. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, so that's the case. Uh, it's got all your normal ports, so there's HDMI here, and you've got space there for your Ethernet and your USB. Over the back, we've got the two standard ports there, your audio, um, and then on the other side here, that's just where you put power in, which goes through the board um, and then goes into the pie, as you can see there. Okay, so the UPS side, so I've got this plugged in and that is powered on. Um, all you do is turn it on, easy as that. So if I put it this way, so you'll see the pies started up there as well. Now you've got a status LED, there it is, so it flashes when it's conditioned the battery, so that's why it's doing that, but generally green means it's running off of your mains power supply there. Um, we'll just let that settle in. So what else you got here? You got four LEDs, um, and you can. These aren't actually for the UPS. These are just here uh, for you to play with. So you can do what you want with those. Um, they kind of give you examples of the code you can use. So you could use it to show the status of the battery, the kind of charge left in it, or it could just be for anything at all you want. It's up to you. Um, and then all you got there is just two buttons. You have got the off button and the on. And I'll show you those in a minute. Um, on the front you've got the kind of micro UPS for Raspberry etched in the front, which is quite a nice little touch. Um, other little touch I found is the, the kind of the screws are set counter sunk there, um, which kind of adds to the, the nice polished effect. Um, and you've got the standoffs a solid metal rather than the plastic you sometimes get, which is also a nice touch. And it's clear all round, so you can you can see there you've got the mounting holes for the pie. Um, it's a very nice looking unit. This is the prototype. There's another one coming out. Um, so where you can see these LEDs here, they're slightly raised as are the buttons. You can see there, and um, that's all going to change. So there's a second kind of upgraded version coming out. So uh, this will be a historical item in no time. Okay, so there's my pie running there, and it's running off the power. So let's say I take out the power supply. Ready? Okay, pie still on. UPS notices that, and now I'm running on battery power. And a pie, I've tested this loads of times. It just carries on running fine. Um, so I've got the what I've got in this one is the one cell battery. Um, there's loads of options, you can have two cells, I think I do like a six cell version as well, so almost like a portable pie then at that point, and you get a different case for that, but I like this case because it's, it's all one kind of solid clean unit um, there. So I'll show you again, if I put the power back in, you'll see it go green again, pie doesn't change, <coughs> the UPS part picks it up and it goes green. Um, and then to turn it off, it's just a case of holding down this button here, and if I try and show you both, so I'll just hold it for a few seconds and then the pie should shut down, I might not have done that right, hang on, let's just check no, let's do a bit longer, ready let's see there it goes and that shut it down for us and then the code you can change, so this is actually set for 60 seconds after I've done that, the power will turn off just in case your, your pie is pretty busy, needs a bit of time to shut down. Um, but this one, I mean you could change it back to 30 seconds, you could do what you want really, um, whatever you feel happy with. But in a few more seconds that should um, shut down. So that's the micro UPS. Um, like I say, Indiegogo that's currently on. Um, if you go to my blog at averagemanversusraspberrypie.com, um, I've got a full blog on that with more pictures and links so where you can buy it. Give us a few more seconds it will turn itself off and that will be the end of our video. Just to show you there the camera module as well, you've got a different plate on the front. Um, so this one's got the camera module plate, it comes with the screws and just fits in there. So you know you could stand this up whichever way you wanted. Um, 
So another nice little touch there. And there you go, that's it, that was the 60 seconds. Turns itself off. Um, you haven't got to unplug any, any cables, <coughs> which I know is a bit concerned for some people because the micro USB port is, uh, some people seem to worry that you know it might not be as durable if you keep unplugging it every time. But uh, that's, that's another good answer for that. So yeah, so go to the blog, averagemanversariseradipi.com and you'll see more there. Cheers.